You made a laughing stock of Bill. It's strange he didn't kill you. He's always been such a big bully. I'm surprised. Everybody thought he'd have murdered you. Is it Bill? Mm-hmm. I thought so. Well, if he finds you, you're dead. Live in peace while you can. But he's come here to kill you. Look, I don't know anything about you, what your name is or where you come from. But I'll tell you one thing. Don't let him find you. I was looking for you, and I want all my money back. You want it alive? Or dead? You better learn who's... Someone's died every day since you set foot in this town. Yeah, I know they drew first, and you had to defend yourself. But it seems to me you're defending a little too much. You know, you better leave this town pretty fast, Mr. Gordon.
We took care of them pretty good this time. Let's go tell the boss all about it. See how fast you can move. Faster. Start moving and don't come back. you, Andy. You already cleaned me out. How about it? 
You want to play a couple hands of poker? <laughs> I've been lucky today, so watch out. I wouldn't want to skin you. takes my money.
watch out. Quite a fire, huh? Yeah, quite a fire. Someone had a real good time. You know who works there? Sure. Hank Waldmore. He wouldn't pay up, so he got taught a lesson. My friend, everyone seems to be scared of that bunch of sidewinders. There they are. Are they Dodgers men? Uh, Dodgers or Tysons, they're both two sons of... If you want to find out, why don't you go ask? And be careful if you do. They're the kind to shoot first and ask questions later. Stinking polecats. I'd give five dollars a head to whoever'd kill them. But who's gonna do it? They're the strong ones. No one's gonna do anything about it around here. And Laurie, that's Waldmore's daughter. Now she's all alone and has to begin all over again. If I was 20 years younger, I'd step over there and give them a lesson myself. You bet your boots I would. The skunks. But I guess I'm just dreaming. Ain't no one gonna stand up to them, leastwise me. Oh, well. What? Where are you off to? Come back here, stranger. Too bad. there. What do you want? What do you think? You want trouble? No, I was looking for your boss. I want my jacket and my gun. <laughs> He's the one from the saloon. <laughs> you left the poor girl alone? <laughs> Better just move out of here. You forgot to say please. You can... I'll be hornswoggled. I never would have believed it. Ain't many around here can shoot like that, stranger. You took care of all of them, and I never go back on a promise I make, so here's your five dollars. Thank you. If you think back, I took care of four of them. <laughs> Keep it. I just might. If you're looking for work, there isn't any in the village. Everybody's leaving their land, and everybody's leaving. Uh, but someone who knows how to manage a pistol as fine as you. Maybe if you really wanted to. You could be useful. Is Dodge there in town? Uh, he comes pretty often. There's a girl down there he likes, so we see him around. All right. Good. Good. Uh, good.
peace of mind anymore. Lots of people who live in the neighborhood turned their homes into forts. Others have just packed up and left. The few that are still here ain't got a chance. All the land is sold in auctions. The only buyer is Tyson, the price he wants to pay. He's a filthy robber, you can take it from me. Oh, that there's a saloon. Used to be real active, lots of pretty girls. But nothing anymore, like everything else. Over there's a hotel and restaurant. You can get a room to stay in, some terrible food. I'm just going across the street to see a friend of mine. So I'll try and stop Jenny over there. Jenny, stop. I want to get off. Whoa. You're a critter. I'll see you later, stranger. Howdy, Storm. Well, tiny, just the man I was looking for. <laughs> good to see you again. <laughs> How you been keeping yourself? Pretty good. Come on in. All right, three of diamonds for you, sir. And oh, sorry, king of hearts for me. Who's next? Who's next? Step right up, gentlemen. Step right up. Ace is low in this game. Who's going to be rich? Who's going to try? Ah, I see you've got five dollars, young man. Just take a card and we'll see. All right, three and four. Well, that was close, wasn't it? If you play, you can lose. But if you don't play, you can't win. All right, boys, who's next? Here we go, here we go. Double your money every time. Remember, fortune's just around the corner. Twelve dollars? All right, sir. Just take a card. Jack of spades. That's going to be a tough one to beat, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, king of hearts. Bad luck, friend, but the next time might turn out better. If you take a chance, you can lose, but if you don't take a chance, you can't win. That's important. Oh, ten dollars, sir. Very good. Take a card, please. Eight of hearts and queen of clubs. Very sorry, but uh, don't lose heart, gentlemen. Keep the game going and it'll get hot for you. King high, ace low. Here we go. Uh, no, 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 young man. Your money on the table first. Take your pick. Six of hearts and a ten of diamonds. Just a little run of bad luck, gentlemen. Happens all the time. You can't win all the time. You've got to lose once in a while. Who's next? Come on, now. Here we go. Who's next, gentlemen? Step right up. Fortune's just around the corner. If you play, you can lose. If you don't play, you can't win. Ah, young man, the true sporting spirit. Only first the money, if you please. All right, gentlemen, here we go. The king is high, the ace is low. For seven dollars, sir, five of hearts. Not bad. And now, jack of hearts. Sorry, sir, but there's always a next time. Now, don't be discouraged. Play. Come on, gentlemen. Your luck will change. If you don't play, you can't win. So play and win, everyone. Twenty dollars from you, sir. Fine. Just cut into the deck. Nine of spades, a good high card. Ten of hearts. I'm terribly sorry. Today we lose, tomorrow we win. Come on, play. Don't be afraid, young man. You've got to take a chance to win money, and here's your chance to get back at me a little bit. Don't be afraid. Today for me, tomorrow for you. If you go along and play, you can win. Who's next? Well, stranger, you? You want to play? Come on. Well? Again. Well, tomorrow it's mine. Today it's yours, like I was saying. Ah, Tiny. You should have seen him. You should have seen him. He laid them all out in a row like turnips. Pow, 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 pow. Dead. All four of them. By crazy. Uh, Dodge has too many men. He'll be dead in two hours. Don't pin your hopes on him. Can you use a pencil? Oh, a little bit, I guess. Wonderful. Wonderful. Come on over here. I have an idea. All right. Let me see. Everybody can make money, and everybody's luck can change. With this contract, stop drinking and write, will you? With this here contract, all right, go ahead, write that much. Give me a 
this here contract. Huh? Well, I had to refresh my ideas, didn't I? Come on, with this here contract, I promise. Tell you, Tiny. He's better than a whole house full of rattlesnakes. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go finish that letter. Huh? What do you want? There's another one. We found the man we're looking for, and this time we ain't gonna let him escape. <laughs> How many of you lost money to him? He ruined every one of us. I lost twenty dollars. I lost five. I lost twelve dollars. I lost eight dollars. Hey, what's going on here? What is this? Let me through. One side, you hear? What's he doing? Giving away money? He's giving away money. Hey, what about us? What about me? Hey, wait. What is this? Where'd you get all that money, Gordon? I got it from someone who was running a crooked little shell game. Our agreement was for much more than this, Tyson. The work's been done. I hope it's been done well. If the farmers show that they've had it and sell me their lands, tomorrow I'll give you the rest. But if they still show some fight, our agreement is very clear. They must all be eliminated. But do you think any more people want their houses burned down? Tomorrow has to be a peaceful day, just like all the others. Go on. If the auction goes well, I'll give you the rest of the money. All right, you know where to find me. And tomorrow night at the latest. And no jokes. Understand, Mr. Tyson? Depends on the auction, I told you. and four children to take care of. That's right. Everybody's got to get out because of that miserable Tyson. He's a monster, a monster. You and I have been on these lands all our lives, Sam. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean anything to Mr. Tyson. Uh, we got to go somewhere else and start all over again from the beginning.
The first lot is the Bill Ross Ranch. 200 acres cultivated and a creek running through the southwest corner. Now, the starting price is not $500 before. Do I have any offers at $400? Well, gentlemen? Yes, $400. Going once for $400, going twice for $400, going... $600. There has been an offer of $600. Do I hear more? But, 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 but he could get murdered. He must be crazy. I have $600 once. I have $600 off of twice. $700. All right, there's $700 once. There's $700 twice. Go ahead. $900. Oh, but he ain't got a penny in his pocket. $900 going once. $1,500. $1,500 going once, twice, $1,500. I've been offered $1,800 once. I've been offered $1,800 twice. $3,000. Three thousand going once. Three thousand going twice. Thirty-five hundred dollars. Oh. I've been offered thirty-five hundred once. I've been. $3,500 twice. For my last offer. I've been offered $4,000. I've been offered $4,000 twice. $4,500. I'm through. It's illegal, I'm sorry. The owner of the property has to be present. The auction's been called off till next week. Who are you? What do you want? I've been informed that land around here is awfully cheap. I wanted to find me some. Hey! My idea is to go inside. No. No. Just a minute. Watch. by tomorrow morning. We need them. Understand, mister? You better come up with some other idea. I need mine a little longer. I guess you haven't gotten the idea. You disappear. On your own two feet while you still can. And if I don't? If you don't, you leave in a coffin with your feet in front. <laughs> Take a look. You 
You see? Three more. Let's not waste any more time. We have to get that letter over to Laurie. Come on. With the bullets at our expense. The corpse is to be established. It pointed out at you. This here contract will be valuable for two months. <laughs> I know what you two need for the occasion. gunman has no use for a contract. Why? Well, what would it mean to him? You just have to make him a proposition. It's that simple. He'll have to think over the risk. Ah, uh, the man's not afraid of anyone. He's already taken care of 12 of Dodge's men without even blinking. He's a cool type, says nothing, smiles. And then all of a sudden, pow, 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 pow. Ouch. Boy, I tell you... You should see him, and today pushed up prices at the auction. <laughs> Understand? Now remember, we don't know what he's fighting about. Anyway, if he's killed some of Dodge's men, he won't live too long. Throw them out in the dustbin. kills off half of Dodge's infantry. And then, just as if nothing had happened, he goes out looking for trouble. Anyway, how do we know he'll accept it? He's only one man against too many of Tyson's. No, I tell you, that man isn't scared of no one. He's gone through more men by himself than a whole epidemic of smallpox. Is he afraid? <laughs> Go fetch him inside. I'll get him all right. You wait for me here. Don't move. Remember, don't move. Hey, Gordon, it's about time. Where you been all day? 
Come on, hurry up. There's some people inside waiting to see you. Come on in. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Here we are. Now, you just sit down. I want you to listen to a little proposition. Now, you want to begin first, Lori? We need someone who will help us defend our land. We're tired of being under Tyson's thumb. There aren't very many of us left, but we want to stay. We're not going to run away like everyone else. We've worked too hard for what we have. Storm says you're fast. Fastest man he's seen. And you're not afraid of anyone. If your price isn't too high, and if you aren't afraid of Tyson, we're prepared to pay you for defending us against him. Mr. Storm was wrong. I'm not interested in your proposition. I'm not really what you'd call a... a gunman lady. I just want to buy land. And I want to buy it where it's cheap. So you'd better find someone else. So you are just as bad as the others. If you want my land, I'm afraid you'll have to kill me first. wrong for once. You're even worse than the others. Worse than Tyson and Dodge put together. Got anything to eat? Just a little bean soup left over. Hmm. All right, give me a bowl. I've had enough. They can all go to the devil. I'm sick of it. I'm sick to death of living in this place. I'm going. It's the world's worst place. <coughs> Worse than hell. <coughs> Can't wait to get out. You should wait till tomorrow, Storm, and leave it sun up. Crossing the mountains at night can be dangerous. Not as dangerous as staying here. The beasts in the mountains ain't, ain't near as bad as these are. Well, maybe you're right. If we'd ever elected a sheriff, we wouldn't be in this trouble. Sheriff, what good would a tin star do against them bandits? You growed some, eh? Yeah. were sent here to look for the man with the fast gun. Do you know where he is? No. You don't, eh? No. I see. 
Shall I loosen up your tongue? Or can you manage it by yourself, boy? Now, come on, talk. I don't know anything. I haven't seen anything. Now look, friend, I'm getting mighty impatient and I'm pretty quick on the draw myself. Now talk. Well, now, has your memory started working yet? Or does it need some help? I know he took a room here. Now, where is he? Well, I, I, I said, where is he? The old story, eh? Yeah, I guess we just have to help you. Were you looking for me? Uh, you're the one, eh? The one who was looking to buy land cheap. Well, there's two square yards of it in the cemetery. <coughs> Someone's shooting. Just my men having a little fun. Look out! Mr. Dodge, that's not a good idea. The reason I came around is to get my money back. get on that trail and find him right away. It's Smith, is he hurt? Uh-huh. We better hide him. Yeah, in the mountains. I know where to go. Just right for him. Was it safe? Of course it's safe, Gordon. It's a little old hut I used myself more than once. Nobody knows where it is. Don't worry, he'll be all right. He's got a thick head, I know. I got one, too. Where you going? Over to Dodge's farm. To get Lori. Should have met up with that young filly. She's going to be a bad influence. That little cat's got claws. Well, I wouldn't mind getting scratched up a little. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice hunk of stew. And Dodge says we have to keep hands off. Oh, well. Yeah. Here we are playing nursemaid. Hmm. Well, let's just hope it don't last too long. You 
You hear that? What was it? Probably just a mole. There's lots around here. Yeah, mole. I guess you're right. Well, mole or not, it's bothering me. to come around. You come with me. We'll figure out what to do with you later. with Storm and Smith. Yeah. <laughs> 
I told you not to get mixed up in this. Where you got that girl hidden out? Speak up, mister. Give him back his gun. <laughs> All right, gunman, shoot me down. Shoot! You're supposed to be quick with that thing, aren't you? a million dollars he's been caught. Dodge must have done. <laughs> or he went back to the village to buy land.
like it. Just don't like it. trouble you're still alive Whittle Storm gets back from the village he'll bring news I'm afraid he's not coming back Gordon Don't know where they're hiding the girl, Get 
get your rifles. Up on the roof. The rest after the horses. Thank <laughs> you. 
200. Hmm. I'm out. 300. 400. Another hundred. Well, here you are. My boy, I've been looking all over for you. We just elected a sheriff down in the village. Now we got the law. Someone to protect us. Good. Now nobody's going to set fire to your farms anymore. Or auction off your lands. Well, my boy, the one we elected is you. Gordon <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff. Can't you see him with a tin star? <laughs> and I'm choosing you to pay a sheriff. <laughs> well, we figured about $20 a month. The village is poor, friends. I'm afraid we can't afford more. Come on, Gordon, deal. How much are they going to pay me? Uh, 20 a month. We can't pay any more. Let's get this game going. All right, I'll be your sheriff. Ah, I knew you would. I knew it. I said so all along. <laughs> but that hard-headed little Lori, she wouldn't believe me. No, sir. Not even when I said to her that old Storm knows what he's talking about. From now on, no one will even dare draw a gun. Tyson's already taken care of. He run away as soon as he found out we elected you. <laughs> You mean you really will? Huh? I'll be hornswoggled. First we rebuild the jailhouse and then spring cleaning, eh? All right, come on. You're really going off to be a sheriff for twenty dollars a month, huh? Oh, why not? Why not? It's a good steady job after all, and I can get rid of undesirables, like you, for instance, with the law to back me up. So long. still playing cool, but I know she's waiting for you. She's the one that nominated you. She wouldn't like to hear me say this, but she isn't here, so I'm saying it. That gal would just die to be a sheriff's wife. Let's get over to the village. Come on, stop wasting time. You really going? That's right. Oh, you can take this. I don't need it anymore. You stop that growing. Shameless hussy. Thanks. Go on, Jenny. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 